Obart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Oxyacetylene Welding, Cutting, and Brazing. Topic number five, job practice. Fillet weld, lap joint, horizontal position. The objective of this practice is to be able to produce quality lap joint fillet welds in the horizontal welding position. The finished weld should be smooth and slightly convex with even ripples and good fusion into both plates and should be approximately 3 8 inch wide. In order to assure complete joint penetration, it will be necessary to melt no less than 1 8 inch of the corner of the top plate to mix with the filler metal. On a blueprint, the weld symbol could appear as follows. On the arrow side of the joint, deposit a fillet weld with a convex face profile and approximately one quarter inch legs using the oxyacetylene process. Material, 11 gauge mild steel plate, filler metal, 3 seconds inch diameter, RG45. Equipment, oxygen and acetylene supply and equipment, protective clothing, gloves and goggles, striker and pliers, tip orifice size, number 56, tip cleaner, number 56. Gas working pressure settings, oxygen 6 pounds per square inch, acetylene 6 psi, flame type neutral. The workpiece for this job practice is made of two plates, lapped and tack welded at both ends. The plates are overlapped about half of their width. Both ends are then tack welded without filler metal, using pliers to press the plates tightly together. It may be helpful to use a slight up and down motion to improve control of the puddle. When both ends are tack welded, place the workpiece on fire bricks with the joint centered over the space between the bricks and the edge of the top plate facing you. Use a 45 degree work angle halfway between the plates and a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle. The filler rod will be held over the axis of the joint and slanted up at a 45 degree angle as the puddle forms and the corner of the top plate melts, add filler metal as you move the torch along the joint. Do not use any side-to-side -side torch motion once the puddle is formed. Add the filler metal a little at a time, about halfway up on the upper plate, to keep the legs as even as possible and to prevent undercutting of the upper toe. Direct the flame so that both plates are penetrated and fused with the filler metal. As you weld, the puddle should look something like a heart shape. If you add the filler metal onto the lower plate or direct too much heat there, the lower leg of the weld will be too long. If the filler metal or heat is directed too much onto the upper plate, the weld bead will pile up. A proper finished weld will have an even appearance and be approximately 3 8 inch wide with about 1 8 inch penetration into the top plate. Inspect the weld and continue practice. If necessary, check with your instructor before welding additional workpieces.